Tonight we're going to make Mike's Baton Rouge Burgers, and they are the rave of the neighborhood, so let's get started. Mike? Hey y'all, it's Saturday night here in Baton Rouge, and we're grilling hamburgers. First thing we're going to do is we start with soaking some chips, smoking chips. You can either use hickory or mesquite, we prefer mesquite. What you do is just take you a good handful throw them in a bowl, plastic bowl or something. Handful, just one good big handful. Then we'll soak them for about 30 minutes or an hour. It really doesn't matter how long you soak them. 30 minutes or an hour is ideal. Next we're going to get our charcoal ready. And we use a charcoal chimney here. This is a, a method that you can use where you don't have to use any um, of the fuel, the petrochemical fuel that makes your food taste better. Get better for the um, environment and also makes your food taste better. So we start out with this, a chimney, you can get them, Whole Foods, Walmart, um, any academy or any grilling store, they're about $8 or so. Now believe it or not, you're going to start your fire with just a piece of newspaper. You turn it upside down like this, just take a piece of your newspaper, tear it in half, wide them up gently, you know, you don't want to make them in a tight ball, you want them to be loose and just stick them in the bottom here. Turn it over, set it on your grill. Next is you add your charcoal to it. And we use real hardwood charcoal. So we'll fill the chimney with charcoal. Let me show you what this stuff looks like. This is actually real wood. Not those briquettes like you're used to seeing. So anyway, we fill the chimney. Fill it all the way to the top. Now it's ready for lighting. Okay, we're going to light the fire now. Now we use one of these things. I don't have the Vegas idea what you call them, but they, what we use. You just go around and light each of these little holes. And believe it or not, that piece of newspaper is going to light this charcoal actually faster and cleaner and if you'd use that petrochemical fire starter. Now nine out of ten times it's going to start just like this. Every once in a while you may have to do the newspaper a second time. But if you do the second time it always works the second time. I'm Mike Stokes and we're getting ready to cook some burgers. Hi! While Mike's got the charcoal going, I'm going to make the burger um, patties, and this is how I do it. I have a pound and a half of um, ground round here. I just cut it into pieces, even pieces, and then I have this little um, patty gadget that I just love. I've had it forever, and I'll just put my even cut pieces inside. Press down and take off the top and then press down again just like that and voila we have perfectly made meat patties and I'll keep going. Hi we're back and I've got um, six quarter pound burgers here made and I'm going to um, put the seasoning on. We do a light um, sea salt over each of the burgers. Just sprinkle that across. And just do a light touch of salt because the uh, Cajun season already has salt in it also. So just very lightly. And we're going to add some Creole seasoning. A little bit heavier dose here. And then some garlic powder. I think this is my husband's secret ingredient. He doesn't really tell anybody. And we're also going to use a smoky maple barbecue sauce. This is an organic barbecue sauce. So there's no preservatives. And we just sprinkle that on here, just a little on each one. 
And he will also do another um, dose of barbecue sauce once he flips the burger so there will be some on the other side. So we'll come back in a minute and show you how to put the burgers on the grill. And next thing you want to do is spray your grill down with the vegetable spray. This is going to keep your meat from sticking. And you just spray it real good. Okay, our coals are ready. It took about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. But they are ready to cook. So we're going to dump them into the pit. Set that on the ground somewhere. Then you're going to take your mesquite chips that have been soaking in water, shake the water off of them, and just kind of sprinkle them around in there. Again, you want to shake all the water off, toss them in there. Now we're ready to go get the meat and bring it out and put it on and go to cooking. But anyway, we're ready to put the burgers on. You see that the, the mesquite chips are starting to smoke a little. We're going to drop the grill on there. And just lay our patties on. Okay, we're going to give them just a minute, then we're going to put the top on it. We're going to let them go for about seven minutes, and we're going to come out and turn them. Okay, it's been about um, 16, 17 minutes. I came out and I turned the hamburgers at about 8 minutes. And I put some barbecue sauce on the other side. I let them go about another 8 minutes. Now I'm going to put some um, sliced sharp cheddar cheese on a couple of them. Let it melt and we're going to bring them in. Don't they look good? Put the top back on it. The cheese is going to melt in just about a minute and we'll be ready to eat. We're back in the kitchen. The burgers are done and I can't wait to eat. So let's get going. Mike likes a burger with cheese so we're going to make him one with the cheese. And I'll usually put that on the bottom. Then I start loading on the condiments. He likes mustard. So I'll put some of that. And he likes very thinly sliced onion. So we've got that. Another little one. And a couple pickles. And a little bit of shredded lettuce. And that, my friends, is one big Mike's Baton Rouge burger. Hey Mike, why don't you give those burgers a try? Great idea. <laughs> How is it? Oh man, they're real good. This is good stuff. This has been another episode of Cajun Cooking TV and tonight we made Mike's Baton Rouge Burgers and they were so good. Join us next time for more exciting recipes just like these.